Jupiter Antenna Assembly. This section of the video provides instruction on the assembly of the 74cm Jupiter antenna. The parts included are the 74cm reflector, reflector bracket, tilt plate, feed arm, Azel assembly, and the hardware package containing the nuts and bolts. The only tool you should need is a socket wrench. Most of the antenna is assembled using a half inch socket but a 7 16th socket is also needed when attaching the feed arm to the reflector bracket. Let's get started. The first step is to attach the Azel assembly to the reflector bracket using the tilt plate. The tilt plate will sit inside the reflector bracket and the Azel assembly will fit inside the track behind the reflector bracket. After these three parts are bolted together, the Azel assembly will be able to rotate around the track to adjust the antenna's tilt during the pointing process, which will be shown later in this video. First, lay the tilt plate inside the reflector bracket. The holes on the Azel assembly will align with the holes on the tilt plate. Once aligned, insert a half inch bolt all the way through the tilt plate and Azel assembly. Secure it with a half inch nut on the other side. Only hand tightening is required right now. Repeat this step for four additional holes. When complete, there will be three secured bolts on top and two secured bolts on bottom. Here is another look at the assembly so far. The bolts should be secure, but not so tight that the Azel assembly cannot slide left to right. The Azel should be able to rotate inside the reflector bracket. For the next step, attach the 74 cm reflector to the reflector bracket. Place the reflector bracket behind the reflector and match up the holes. Once aligned, insert a half inch bolt through the front of the reflector. Secure it in the back with a half inch nut. Repeat this step for the remaining three holes. Here is another look at the assembly so far. Use a half inch wrench to tighten the bolts, securing the reflector to the reflector bracket. This video uses a socket wrench with a half inch socket. The reflector has been secured to the assembly and we will now attach the feed arm.
Avoid installing the feed arm upside down. Install the feed arm exactly as shown here. The two holes in the base of the feed arm align with the two holes at the bottom of the reflector bracket. To attach the feed arm, use the 7 16 inch bolts. Slide a flat washer onto the bolt and insert it into the hole at the base of the reflector bracket. Put the feed arm in place. And slide a lock washer onto the bolt. Secure it with a 7 16 nut. Repeat this step for the second hole. Use a 7 16 wrench to tighten the bolts, securing the feed arm to the reflector bracket. This video uses a socket wrench with a 7 16 inch socket. Your 74 cm Jupiter antenna is now assembled. Here is a look at the final product. There is one remaining bolt included in the hardware package. It is a small Phillips head bolt used to secure the radio to the end of the feed arm. This bolt screws into a hole in the back of the radio using a Phillips head screwdriver. Attach the radio by interlocking the teeth on the radio with the teeth on the end of the feed arm and secure it with the Phillips head bolt.